This man believes that we can access enough energy for all the world's megacities, now and in the future. Australian John Lessick is passionate about photovoltaic technology, solar cells, devices that turn sunlight into clean electricity. For decades, Lassic has been on a quest for the ultimate solar cell. For us, the genesis of module development really started with this little single cell device here. This was actually built about 20 years ago in my backyard. This little unit put out about seven watts at about half a volt. Seven watts will barely power a light bulb, but Lassic was determined to find a way to tap the potential of his sun-kissed homeland. Australia has an excellent solar resource. About 80% of the country is desert. So uh, if you look on the bright side of that, we've got a lot of solar radiation. In a single summer's day, Australia receives enough solar energy to power the entire planet for six months. And solar cells are already a tried and tested technology. So why not carpet vast areas of land, clad all our buildings, and pave every street with them? The problem is, Conventional solar cells are just not cost effective. They're made of expensive silicon. And the staggering 90% of the energy that hits them is simply lost. The efficiency is relatively low, around about 10% system efficiency. Uh, when you look at the traditional forms, such as a coal fired power station, they might have a range of 25 to 35%. Lassick realized if he could find a way to concentrate the power of sunlight, he could produce much more energy from fewer solar cells. His breakthrough? Using mirrors to focus the power of the sun. This is a scale model of one of his concentrator dishes. What we're looking at here is an array of curved mirrors that focus all the light that falls on this uh, plane to the receiver. At the focus of the dish, there's an array of photovoltaic cells which convert that intense energy directly into electricity. The full-size concentrators are 50 feet across and carry 112 mirrors that track the sun as it travels across the sky. The mirrors collect sunlight to focus energy onto a tiny square of solar cells. 